Barnacles may superficially resemble bivalve mollusks, such as clams and mussels, because of their shell, but they are actually crustaceans in the phylum Arthropoda, more closely related to crabs and lobsters. They are classified under the infraclass Cirripedia, meaning curl-footed in Latin, which describes the appendages that extend out from its shell. Barnacles are commonly found on rocky shores throughout the world in various intertidal zones. Locally, they can be found on nearly all shores, including Half Moon Bay, Pescadero, and Santa Cruz. They can also be found growing on ship holes and dock areas, and on top of other organisms such as mussels, crabs, and whales. The barnacle consists of an upside-down body inside an exoskeleton made of chitin, which is covered by several plates of calcium carbonate. Two pairs of plates located at the top can be opened to allow feeding when the tide is high enough. Cement glands are located at the bottom of the shell, anchoring the barnacle to the substrate. When the tide falls and the barnacle is exposed above water, the barnacle can close its shell to efficiently minimize water loss and protect itself from predators, allowing it to survive until the tide rises again. The barnacle is a passive suspension feeder, relying on the outside movement of water to feed. The feathery appendages shown are modified legs called cirri that function to catch and sweep plankton, small invertebrates, and food particles to the mouth for digestion. Barnacles come in several different forms. The most common type is classified under the order Cecilia, commonly known as the acorn barnacles. They are usually round-shaped with their shells directly cemented to the surface of rocks, ships, docks, and other organisms such as mussels, whales, and crabs. Gooseneck barnacles are classified under the order Pedunculata. They possess fleshy stalks anchoring their shell to rocks instead of having their shell directly cemented to the substrate. Gooseneck barnacles depend more on wave motion to carry food to them instead of cirri motion. Therefore, they are generally found on exposed rocky coast areas with stronger wave currents. There are also barnacles without shells, such as those of the superorder Rhizocephala, who live as parasites inside hosts such as crabs. These parasites impair the growth of the host and essentially sabotages the host's sexual organs to reproduce its own Rhizocephala offspring. Barnacles of the superorder Acrothoracica also lack a shell. They use chitinous teeth to bore into corals, mollusk shells, and carbonate rocks, utilizing them as an alternative to developing their own shell. Barnacles are subject to predation by various organisms capable of getting through their defensive shell. The whelk is capable of drilling into barnacle shells using a sharp modified tooth called a radula. Starfish can evert their stomachs into small openings of the shell, secreting enzymes to digest the barnacle from within. Sea turtles possess powerful beaks capable of crushing barnacle shells. Crabs possess strong pincers capable of crushing barnacle shells as well. Filter feeding organisms such as mussels and adult barnacles also feed on barnacle larvae. Barnacles are also subject to competition primarily versus mussels, limpets, and other barnacles. They compete for space as well as food. Barnacles may seem pretty pathetic being stuck in one place and smaller in size than their competitors. However, they are capable of swarming available spaces cleared by crashing waves and debris early on by reproducing and growing quicker than their competitors. They can also grow on top of their competitors, as shown on these mussels. These behaviors allow barnacle populations to flourish despite being easy pickings. Barnacles start off as mobile, swimming, nopulous larvae that feed on plankton. After six of these nopular stages, it goes into its last larval stage, the cyprid. Because it doesn't eat anything, it survives off its fat stores from earlier stages until it finds a place to settle and metamorphoses into an adult. Barnacles don't just settle on the first place they find. 
They instead use certain cues, such as films of bacteria on the substrate, water levels, the type of substrate, the presence of predators, and the absence of other barnacles already there. Once a spot has been found, it attaches itself headfirst to the substrate by secreting a protein substance that functions like cement. Barnacles are sessile organisms and can only mate as far as their penises can reach. Therefore, they have evolved very long penises with possibly the largest penis to body size ratio of all animals. Before mating, the male will check on other nearby neighbors. This is possibly to see whether or not there are any barnacles with eggs around. In large, dense populations, male competition for mates can be extremely high as all nearby individuals are competing with each other. Hermaphroditism is the solution to this as it allows a male to achieve reproductive success by taking on the female role in reproduction. With less dense populations, ideal reproductive success can shift away from hermaphroditism as competition for mates is lower, allowing males to more easily find success in fertilizing a female. In some cases where barnacles don't have any nearby neighbors around, the male can release his sperm into the water where a female can then take the sperm in and fertilize the eggs in a process called sperm cast mating. This is similar to reproduction in sponges, but the one difference is that the female barnacles don't release their eggs. The goose barnacle in the red box is releasing its sperm into the water for other barnacles to receive. Barnacles are commonly known as fouling organisms, meaning they are undesired organisms that cause negative impacts to human activity. For example, barnacles growing on ship hulls increase drag for the ship, decreasing the speed and efficiency of boats. Barnacles can also grow on pipes, buoys, and docks, impeding their function and maintenance. According to a team of researchers under Dr. Gray Dixon at Duke University Marine Laboratory in Durham, North Carolina, they determined that the barnacle glue uses a similar mechanism as in human blood clotting. The enzymes used were a similar category of trypsin-like serine proteases, which is found in human blood clotting where the enzymes create long fibers of proteins that bind to the red blood cells to create a sort of netting when congregated. There seems to be no real-life application to this glue, but could possibly be used in future research for anti-fouling that is not as toxic as it currently is. Barnacles are harvested using knives and a net from the rock faces off Costa de la Muerte coming from the port in Galicia in northern Spain. The treacherous wave action from the sea, the tricky northwesterly winds, and jagged rock formations make it deadly to harvest these delicacies. The goose barnacles are regulated by fishing regulations imposed by the state of Galicia by mandating each fisherman to carry back no more than 6 kilograms and that they can only be sold in state-run fish markets. They catch and handle 400,000 kilograms of goose barnacles a year, valued at 10 million euros. Barnacles are cooked simply in boiling seawater for a couple of minutes, as well as eaten raw. To wrap up, barnacles are fouling crustaceans even though they resemble bivalve mollusks. They are commonly found on rocky shores throughout the world in various intertidal zones. They are subject to competition between mussels, limpets, and other barnacles. They are also a passive suspension feeder relying on the outside movement of water to feed. And lastly, they are non-mobile organisms that have adapted to hermaphroditism as a solution for reproduction.